Adam, what is it and why are you looking at my friend like that? Your friend? You call this? This fool that I usually see messing with all the village girls. Your friend. Are you now one of them, Obiakini? And how does that bother you? Actually, it doesn't. What bothers me is right inside that house. Now go in and call your father out for me. Butterfly, are you still here? Who are you to send me on an errand? What do you think you are? Eh? Who are you? Tell me! With your sisters that you are practicing how to fight now. Huh? Have people finished outside? I have not come here to answer your stupid questions. Go inside right now and bring out the money to me. Bring which money? I understand you helped my mother and I collect the money my late father's debt was with me. Now thank you very much for your kindness. Now go in and bring out the money. Uh, what, what nonsense money what are you talking about? What nonsense money? I am talking about the nonsense money that you went to his various debtors and collected on account of expenses for the final funeral rites. That money has been with you for God knows how long and you have been sitting on it. What are you up to? What kind of a man are you? What does that make you if not a thief? Huh? On your ship. And if you do not give me that money today, just know that it is not only Saeke that gave back to me. Oh, it is Bichel Moza. Now, what is the problem? Uh, ask her. Ask her. Oh, Adeje Jemba, you have now grown up, eh? You are now a big girl. It is Dike. Bulo Dogu Bichel Moza. Between you and I, we shall soon know who will be messed up today. Oh, Yoshi! Oh, Yoshi! What is that? You just called your uncle a thief. Adai Sanesa. I don't care. I don't care, Chacha! I will call him whatsoever despicable names my man can conceive in this moment. Go and bring the money. That's all you know how to do. Useless daughter of a useless mother. Yes! That mad maiden almost tore me to shreds. Right now, I don't even know how to confront her when I get home. Ah, an ordinary maiden. Look, there are certain things a man should not think of, let alone forcing them out. Ha! You want to run away from your compound? Because of your brother's uh, ordinary maiden? Ah, 
Ah, you are It's your badge. Did I just hear you say she's an ordinary maiden? Yes, she is an ordinary maiden. I don't want you to rubbish yourself by being afraid of her. Did you hear me? I like what you said. Now tell me, why did you hide away the day she came to your house to threaten your wife for spreading false rumors against her? Why didn't you come out and beat her out of your compound? Or people tagging your corner for Anyway, let me go and go and figure out what to do. Ilo, 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 ilikao. Ilo putife, amalo nyobo. Ilo putazife, amalo nyobo. So, you have finally lost it, Ilo putife. You came to my house to fight me? Hey, my land near. Hey, I'm going to deal with you. I will deal with you seriously. I'm going to finish you. Oh, oh, oh. Because I refused to lend you money. Then you went around to tell my brother and daughter that I've collected money from the debtors. You will see yourself. You are nothing but a frustrated thief. Yes. Let me, let me bring you there. You are worse than that. Look at you. Look at you. See. The wind has blown and the anus of the fowl has been seen. You think you can hide forever? Oh, so because the wind has blown and we have seen the anus of the fowl, then you must run your mouth like the anus of the fowl. If one year, you are a thief, I will deal with you. But let me let me break his head. I will deal with you. Yes, man. You are not more than an enemy. That's how I see you. More than an enemy. You are a thief. Get out of my compound. You should have waited there. Bonyara. Go away from me. You are a thief. Bonyara. I thought you said you were a man. Should I wait for you? I, you, you? Do you think I'm afraid of I will deal with you? How did you get yourself involved with the look of his problems? Not my hair. He's a thief. I guess the late brother's daughter has started to demand for the money he stole. Now he's looking for the person he would lay the blames upon. He's an animal. Please. I will deal with him. Please. What, what does he think he I will deal Il with him. I'm alone, you Il a put as if a malon This is unbelievable. Eh? What are you going to do? What am I going to do? He will give me the money. What is there to do? Oyenka. What if he refuses? Oh, oh God. There is no way he will refuse. He's not stupid. In fact, I am pretty sure that as we speak, he is running helter skelter, trying to fill up the money he has spent in order to return it wholesomely. If he tries. The man that sent me the bush meat, you also helped me cut my palm knot. And then you sent me footwear. What are you doing? You're a good looking man. Why do you act like this? You're a man, yet you act like a woman. Hey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I just wanted to show my appreciation for all the gifts. I am grateful. My pleasure. He speaks? You actually speak? 
My name is Adeje Jemba. What is yours? Chinua. Chinua Lumogo. Chinua Lumogo. Chinua! There's something about him that I like. He's shy and calm. That's not typical of a man. All the time we spoke, he never even looked at my face. I find that rather sweet and interesting. Sweet, interesting. Every woman should like a man that is bold and confident. That is what you would think. But I, I find this timid man interesting. And I bet he finds me interesting too. Hey, Hey, DJ Jemba. Mm -hmm. You sound like you're beginning to really like him. No. No. I sound like I find him interesting. I wish to know him more. Yes. Mm. So, if he asks you to be his friend, will you say yes? The question should be, will he ever ask me? Because it does not look to me like he would. And what if suddenly he does? Would you settle for a weakling like that? Opugo. I bet you don't even know the meaning of the word weakling. Do you even know a weakling when you see one? To be a weakling is not a physical thing. It's a thing of the mind. That man he has the mind to do right. He has the mind to an accurate judgment. He has the mind to respect a woman. I love that mind. That is the mind of a winner. Never a weakling. Okay. Oh. It's your decision. You can say anything you like. Adama. Adeje Jemba. Hey! Nemeka, the great Dibia, Obago, the Ilo Putife, Obula Mosu, Obula Mosu. You are lucky. The powers that I serve are smiling at you. Now, make your request once again. I should make my request. Yes. The 
great powers that the great DBN maker serves. I greet you once again. They say that when a child is being pursued, he runs to his maternal home. As it is now, I have nowhere else to go. Go straight to the point. For they are gathered already and will not wait for him. Uh, my brother's daughter, Adai Jemba, has now become a thorn in my flesh. In fact, she has become a great pain in my butt. Not only that, she has also become a pain in my neck. And she has sworn to see me dead. Musa! I'm with Dike and Robo the man. Yeah. I want to put an end and put her to where she belongs. And that place is the same place where her father is. That is where I want her to go to. But the problem is that I cannot do it alone. I need help. And that is why I Speak no more. Because the power that I serve are not there. They have heard you. Buru buru ke je je be mbe ada je be agun be na abonezi ya. Namba sa mala buru ke agunezi ya. Oye jakura mo kansi je no na hamma u. how to welcome your husband who has been out all day trying to fend for the family. Exactly my point. You have been out all day and now you are coming back to your house when everyone has gone to sleep. Same thing you did yesterday. You are even sneaking into your house like a thief. Watch your tongue, woman. Are you now questioning my movement? Huh? When did that start? How can I? How can I question your movement? But I... I hope it is not because of Adeje Jemba. I hope you are not trying to avoid her. What nonsense. Avoid her for what? Oh, so you are not insulting me, Ujuaku? No, I advise you give her what she asks for. There is no hiding place for you. You are just talking rubbish. Silly gasly. Go and take my food for me. Eh, okay. Let me tell you. Adeje Jemba was here throughout today. <laughs> she even sat on your favorite seat. Uh, 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 <laughs> she sits there. Do you think I'm afraid of that rat? Uh, uh, I know you huh? are not afraid of her. <laughs> nah, don't worry, let me go and get you food. <laughs> Who's afraid? Amalonye na roko roko na zu Amalonye ne jijabani na zu Believe me mother I will not bother him again For now But if your plans fail 
I will continue from where I stopped. He must bring all that money out. Ume, I discussed with some elders, and I believe that there are some of them who still have some milk of human sympathy. Don't worry, my plans will take care of it, okay? It's okay, Mama. I shall be on my way to the farm now. I will be working at the farm before again, please. Don't go and start working too hard, oh? I'll be fine. She crosses it. She will develop scissor in her legs. <laughs> that scissor will completely spread all over her body. She will scream for help, and it will not come. And finally, she will die. A <laughs> blood. Shall be on your head. Forget about her blood. That maiden has beaten more than she can do. And she must die. Once you have accepted that her blood shall be on your head, you shall do what I have you to do. Then you shall wash the night masquerade down. What? I saw her step on it. What happened? Must have some spirit. She must be an Obanji. Nothing happened. But she didn't even fall. What I'm trying to say is that you work too hard at that. Why not engage laborers to do some of the work? You know you're beginning to irritate me. I have always worked like this all my life. And all of a sudden, it's a problem to you? You know I'm always concerned about you. You're my blood. See, as a woman, you don't have to work hard. Because if you do, your muscles will become strong. Chiwendo. I'd like to think there's another reason you're here. What is it? You know me too well. And I'm glad you still do. Even with the way things have been between you and my father. You are here to talk about your father? Ada, he's hardly home these days. In fact, he's practically running from the house. And he bothers you? 
Okay. I'm not you bothered to find out why he runs out from the house. Have you? I wasn't around the day it happened, but I was told. It's about the money he collected from the debtors, isn't it? Now listen to me, Chimwendo. Your father did not only collect some money from the debtors. He collected a huge amount of money from my late father's debtors. Now tell me, what right does he have to do that? Tell me, is it fair that your father will have all that money to himself while my mother and I, the rightful owners, go with nothing? Is it right? Ada, I know what he did is wrong. I know. But must we be violent about this? Remember, we are family. What will people say when they hear we fight over money? What? I talk to you because I love you. You're my second favorite cousin. And because of that, I will give you a message for your father. Tell him that I, Adeje Jemba, will rather die and watch him keep all that money to himself. You mean, you say all this because of money? I'm done with you, Chuan. Leave here before I lose my temper on you. I tried talking to her, but she wouldn't listen. You know how Adaije Jemba is, eh? But, um, Papa, Piko, why don't you try and end this whole thing once and for all? Give her the money, Piko, eh? Why will you say such a situation? Tell me, Obiagere, it is because the money belongs to her late father. And so? Did you say and so? Yes, I said and so. Hey! Do you know what Ada will do to father if he doesn't return the money back to her? Sometimes when you talk, I wonder if I'm truly your father. Whoa! Father, talk oh, to her. Father, talk. I'm talking to you, Chiwendo. How do you on earth do you ever think I will give her such an amount of money? Now tell me, what will a woman do with such a huge amount of money? Imagine. Huh? Father, her mother needs the money. Oh, shut up there. Shut up! I've had enough of this now. Now, thank you for trying to talk to her. I'll handle things myself. Eh? Yes. Father, if you know you would take care of the situation yourself, why then did you send me to her in the first place? Shut up and leave my presence. Leave my presence now! Silly thing. Game for silver as one and one. Hey, Papa. You don't have to worry yourself. I will always be by your side. Eh? Butterfly, I heard what you just said. <laughs> don't forget your previous encounter with Ada. <laughs> Do not come running to me to use hot water to massage your body. I will not come again. Leave me alone. I will not. I won't be there. Butterfly. Eh? Hey, butterfly sister. Leave me. From all you said, the money belongs to your late husband, right? Yes, Nani. Everything I said happened the way I said it. I can call the debtors here to come and bear me witness. I can start calling them now, Nani. No, no. It has not come to that. What's going to happen is that... Uh, uh, Ndiche, at least I should be allowed to speak my own mind. My fellow elders, Elopative is making sense. That is true. I, I think it is wise we listen to him. Huh? I know it's not always good to conclude from one party's witness. Mm. You will speak, Ilo Pitifi. You will speak. Okay. Uh, but uh, allow us to do it our own way first. Mm? Uh, fellow elders. Ilo Pitifi, I'm a lonely boy. 
Amalo nye na loko loko na zu Amalo nye ne jijabani na zu Ilo 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 My elders, I called us aside because I want us to look at this matter critically. Ichenebua, I'm sorry to cut you. I don't think this call is necessary. How do you mean? Uh, Ilop TV is a leading authority in the body of the ruling class. A woman married into his family, accused him and we left him and her. Ha, Mbano. Mbano we called in the bayo we called. So what do you suggest? I, I, my suggestion Let's see. Don't bother. Hmm? I know what you want to say. Don't worry. By the time we get back there, just give me the opportunity to do the address. Don't worry. Eh? Let's go. Ilo puti ife. If he ne more than ma. Okay. Gini po gini. If he ne more than ma. We feel me. Okay. He will take you. Abiliego. Um, elders, this matter is a difficult one because it involves one family and also involves money. Oh, Quego, or your family? Mbano, Mbano, Mbano. Um, our wife. Go. Hmm? We are going to hold a meeting with Ilo Putife. And after that, we call you back. You know? My husband, I thank you so very much. But I, I, I would rather he speaks in my presence. I brought this matter here and I, 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 I won't like it when he talks behind me. It's not fair. Mm. Uh, our wife, just do as you have been told. Mm. We promise you a good judgment. We will discuss with him and uh, thereafter we will get back to you. Mm -hmm. You may go. In the next four market days, we will call you back. Oh? Back. Yes, eh? four market days. Four market days. Four. Okay. You can go. Eh? Okay. Thank you, my husband. You not going to Why won't she listen to what is okay? It's all right. She has gone. I am telling you what happened, okay, Dibia? If not that you have successfully done something like this for me before, I would have doubted your power. Ha! How dare you speak that way? About the powers I represent. Do you want their rods to come over you? Uh, please, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. But honestly, this one marvels me. Does. Did you do as I asked you to do? I mean, did you spread it the way I asked you to spread it? Did she cross it? Okay, Dibia, with my own very eyes, I saw her not only cross the rope, but step on it. And she just walked away as if she was walking on ordinary ground. Her holy woman. As she is very strong, destroying her will be very difficult. It will cost you a lot. A lot in love with I am ready to give an arm to ensure that Adeje Jemba goes. Do you know the trouble that she has caused me? I hardly sleep at night. In the daytime, I hide from her. Can you imagine that because of her, I cannot lay my hands on the great wealth of my late brother? Keba hmm. Gekuye. The next step to take will be very dangerous. Okay, Ria. If there is something more than dangerous, I'm ready to do it. I need to get that girl out of my way immediately. Dangerous for you, not for the girl. 
have given you an option. It is either you give the maiden what she asks for, or you take the risk of killing her yourself. <laughs> Isn't life itself full of risks? That money and properties that are at stake, they are worth everything. Tell the powers that are speaking to you that I am ready. <laughs> Maybe a day Jemba will be able to tell us. Eh? Ada. <laughs> what does she mean by that? Tranny and Elenko. Are you not the one that told me that he has been sending you gifts secretly? Eh? And Joda, I don't know what you went to discuss with him at the, at the bush. Eh? I saw that one with my eyes. Hey! I'm asking me for one you. Ada, is it true? That man, you know he has a lot of maidens going after him. Man, and you know how wealthy he is. Oh, we're able to do the guinea. Ptaba. Eh? Ptaba. Well. I don't have anything with him at the moment. At the moment, I said. Because something tells me he loves me. And now or later. We will have something to do with each other. Hey, you can't have to go So, are you saying that if he comes to you, you will say yes? I am convinced I might say yes. I like him. I like his shyness. I find it very, very attractive. Oh, Adej Jemba, why are you constantly saying this? Eh? How can you find shyness attractive in a man? See how far? May the gods forbid. Eh? Imagine talking to a man and he draws line on the ground with his feet as if he's a teenager being asked out by a man. <laughs> but, but, I don't think Chinua Lumog is like that. Because he has a lot of maidens going after him. Eh? Adeji Ajemba, I think it's about you. About me? How? Since you don't know, let me tell you. You know when they say about being shy when you are with someone you love. <laughs> well, all I know is that I find him attractive. And if he comes to me, I will go. You will? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what happens to Nduka? Eh? I'm sure you know what Nduka will do. He will just call the warriors to come and beat him up. Mm -mm. Don't talk about that fool here, right now. I have told you before, there is no way I am going to marry Nduka. What kind of a human being is this? 
Is she even human? Is she not supposed to be dead by now? According to the Dibia? She does not look to me like someone that has been struck by any charm. She looks very healthy and agile. What do I call this? <laughs> she might be an Agbarao. Anyway, let me wait. Maybe it's not yet too late for me to conclude. She might be dying slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> Chiwendo, what is it? Father. What are you doing here? It's me, Chiwendo. Your first child. What is bothering you? Hmm. Talk to me. Nothing. Nothing? Yes, nothing. Father, you've been monitoring Adede Jemba for a while now. What is going on? I just told you nothing. And I want to be left alone now. Father, I don't think so. I, I want to be left alone now. Okay. This evil girl is making a fool of me. She must go. She must go. Why were you whispering? I have told you to always speak up boldly like a man. Oh, are you no longer a man? I am. The big man of our family? I am, I am. What is it? They must not know that I am here. They will beat me. Who? Uh, Papa and Obiagiri. They told me never to visit you again. You've stopped coming for a while. But why would they tell you that? They said you and Mama are... Uh, you know what? I don't even want to hear it. So why are you here? You want to receive some beating. I came to inform you that my initiation will be next again. <gasps> <laughs> I am happy for you. Sister, eh? let me start going. Um, I I want some bush meat. Mm. You should have told me it was my bush meat you came to collect. Mm? No, it's no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Uh, I mean. Did you say it's not? Are you lying? It is. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> so, Martina. So, Martina. Where is this boy? Where is this boy? Samadina! Eh, uh -huh. I said it. What are you doing here? I, 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 came, I came to see Ada. You came to see Ada? Oh yeah, home. Busy body. Come on! 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 Come I can't hate her. She's my sister. If you don't want me to kill you in this house, you better stop going to Ada's house. Have you heard me? That is what you always say, and I wonder why. Ada is my sister, and I. Will you shut your mouth? Ada is not your sister. She is a coarse woman. That's why she fights with every man. Have you heard me? If you don't want me to kill you in this house, you better stop going there. If not, if not, you won't like what I will do to you. I will slap you. Try, try me in this house. Ada is not cost. Ada is not cost. Mother, you still haven't told me the outcome of your meeting with the elders. How did it go? My mouth is still heavy to talk about it. I'm still thinking of how to handle it. Handle Guinea. Huh? I don't know why some people are so unjust. I suspected something when they asked me to go, let them get back to me. 
You know I don't like it when you're going round and round issues like this. But no, Kwafa. What exactly did they say? When is Uncle bringing the money? Which money? He's not bringing any money. You can't wear blue again. He said that since your father had no male child, that traditionally everything he owned will be under your <laughs> uncle's care. <laughs> Do you know they even asked him to keep the money? And not only that, that I should submit everything I labored for <laughs> with my own husband <laughs> to him. The, the, the lands, uh, uh, the trees, everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama Biko, stop it now. Eh? I'm not a child though. And I'm certainly not a fool. So don't think you can fool me. Get serious now. Tell me, what went down? Ada, I wish I was trying to fool you. Unfortunately, I'm not. You're serious? Yes, I am. Ilo Putifa has finished me. He has finished me. He can't talk with evil men against me. Never. Never! It can never, ever happen. So my late father never had a male child, and so what? Because he never had a male child, his wife should starve to death? Is that what? He told them before he died. What happens to me? You? You were a maiden. A maiden that will be married to another family. That's nonsense. Family. Absolute nonsense. You know, must bring back that money. And none of my father's lands will ever be his. Ever I said. Do you see it, mother? Do you now see it? When I told you to allow me to handle this my way, I am pretty sure that if I had handled it my way, the money would be ours by now. <sighs> Only say okay. my husband. I hope you're seeing this from the land of the spirit. Your only brother is taking everything we labored for. Mother, this is not the time to cry. It is time to sit and plan. Now I need you to do me a favor. Who were those men at the meeting? Those words. We didn't have matters. I didn't know a bunch of evil people like Hilo Kutife. They're all the same for even each other. Just give me their names. So, so. What's the job? Where is he? Where is he? Where is that old fool that got himself with you? Come out! Come out here and face me! Where is he? And who is that? Who is that fool that has stepped onto my compound? To speak nonsense! Who is it? Onyekwawu! Kewawu! Oh! I didn't know it was you. Oh, <laughs> moi! It is me! Ade J. Jemba, the only daughter of the late Ichie Oliseki. Yes, I know you very well. I'm a wicked man. I feel like blocking out your tongue. Huh? I feel like blocking out your tongue and feeding it to the swines. Hey. Do you know why? Hey. Chiatazu, come and stand here. Ada, Ada. Ade J. Jemba. Hey, Ufeke, thank the gods you are here. <laughs> yes. Thank the guinea. Your son is here, guinea. Where is he? Eh? Give me my Give me Your son hey, is here in Apuala. Hey! Chimo! Shut up! Shut up that mouth that you use in speaking injustice every time. Hey! I have paid your fellow wicked elders similar visits. And they were all very cooperative. You won't give me problems now, would you? Mm. Mm. 
Obika, I called you here as witness. Your father is a very wicked man. Do you know that? Huh? Yes, I know. Huh? He's very wicked. Obika. Very, very wicked. Very good. And together with my wicked uncle, they plan to take away everything my late father left for us. Is it fair? It's not fair. This is wickedness. The elders have agreed to have another meeting. And in that meeting, they will take back every rubbish they have said. They will also give my wicked uncle an ultimatum to return to my mother my late father's money that he has been sitting on. And also, stay clear from my father's assets. Do you understand that? Hmm. I understand you're the one backing my uncle in all his wickedness. For your own good. Advise him wisely. Because if I pay a visit to this your compound again, you will not leave to regret your actions. Obika! Uh, Ada! Warn your old smelling father. Warn him! I will, I will. Ada, Ada! Ada, the jumper! Ada, Papa! I don't want you. I want you to stay away from anything that concerns a DJ Jemba. You agree for money will not let you. Ofeke. Ofeke, you should be ashamed of yourself. So, you allowed that man maiden to slap your father and you could not do anything? A man maiden? Papa, why didn't you stop her when you know she's just a man maiden? Why didn't you stop her when she slapped you? Eh? I have said my own. Stay away from Adeje Jemba. When she comes back here again, I will just tell her I did just like she told me. Papa, stay away from anything that concerns Adeje Jemba. Ofeke! I have warned you! Ofeke! If you like, you are you. Call me whatever you like. Go. Hey! Ah, now you What's the matter with you? That's it. The money. I beg it up. I beg it up. What for? That's the money from the debtors. That's the money for which your daughter has been very disrespectful and very unpredictable. Listen. I want to be left alone. Nani Chie. Nani. Pico, don't be annoyed. Are you saying that I should take this money to my hut? No, my man. Go to the back, bring a goat and sacrifice it on top of it, and then worship it. Ichie. There you go. For me? Hey! In Anoka. Hey, Father. Father. I can't believe you just did that. I can't. Mechegono. What can't you believe? Eh? He did the right thing. Papa, I am proud of you. <laughs> Father, you did not do the right thing. Why would you say Father did the right thing? When he went and returned the whole money back to Ada. And you said he did the right thing. Obiageli. The money in question was only Seke's mm -hmm. money. Now that he is dead, it is the right thing for your father to do. Give the family back their money. Mother, I disagree with you this time. Father, was Uncle Iseke not your brother? Why won't you have your own share in what he owned? Adam and mother are just very greedy. Did you say greedy? Very, very greedy. How can they be greedy when the money belongs to them? How? Um. Eh? <laughs> Look at this your head. This Leave me alone. No. They're calling me butterfly. When I say you don't have anything, this is your big Leave skull. me alone. <laughs> I still don't understand how she did it. How did she get all the elders on her side? None of them. Not 
even Ichi Uwu, that has always been my forehand man, wanted to hear anything from me. They all commanded me to return the money, else I will be ostracized. Hmm. This is very strange. After all I plan my. to do with that money. Papa. Huh? Are you okay? Uh, uh, yes. I, I was just asking you a question. Question? Uh, what question? What made you change your mind suddenly and give one and her daughter the money? Well, I, I, I thought that was just the right thing to do. There he goes again. Father, let me ask you. When did you start doing the right thing in this house? Objective. Will you shut up oh, that your dating no. mouth? My husband, you did the right thing. And I am very proud of you. The gods will continue to bless you. He said. They will bless you for doing the right thing. He said. Hey, good I am not done with you, Adaiji Jemba. I know I can handle your mother. But I will do everything to get you out of my way. You cannot stop me from getting what I want. You cannot. Father. You did not do the right thing. Me or Becky, your daughter is telling you. I don't understand all of you at all. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm going to the village square to see my friends. Eh? What a fly? Leave me alone. What is it? What is it? My friend, go and fly and fly. Waka, Ebe, Waka. Ebe, you call me Motafaka. I am proud of you. Ebe, you did the right thing. Mama, why do you keep your face like that? This is your money. You are supposed to be excited. Mm? I know. I know I should be excited, but your uncle's change of heart surprises me. Mabiko, forget about uncle. This is your money. If there's anything we should be doing now, we should be planning on how to spend it now that we have it. Ada, Ada, your uncle is so devilish. I don't trust him at all. He's not only devilish, he's a helpless man. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Smile for me. Then, it goes free. I love that girl. I am asking you, Adele Jemba. What is wrong with you? Will you open down your mouth and talk before I slap you? Is it by force to marry? I said I don't want to marry him. What is difficult in understanding about it? Ada, I am still your mother. No matter how strong and powerful you think you are, you must listen to me and do as I say. Mama, were you forced into marrying my father? Why am I not at liberty to marry whoever I want to marry? Do you know the distance those people travel to come here? Do you? And that the least you could have done was to be polite to them. Look at the way you insulted them. What do you think you're doing? You think you're still a child? Mama, they deserve all the insults they got from me. Imagine that old fool asking for my hand in marriage. How did they even get to know me? All the way from Mumban, they came to ask for a day Jejemba's hand in marriage. An old man like that. Mama, is that your wish for your only child? understand you. The man is too old, quite alright, but you could have told him off nicely. Mama, there is no way you tell a man off nicely and he will take you serious. He will think you're joking and he will keep coming for more. The way I ended everything once and for all is just perfect. I like it like that and I have no regrets. I'm going to this trip. In this land, maidens have faces. They pass from the face of who is their father to the face of who is their husband. Exactly. But what is happening here is unacceptable. You are the man of the house. You must do something about this. Uh, I plead with you, please, not to be so angry as to hold this against my family. I think the Jemba is only a matter. Eh? Please just forget this her youthful exuberance and untoward agility. Eh? And that Jemba is a woman 
who has emotions that can also be manipulated. Please, just give me some time. I will look into the root of this problem. Please, you will know that you will be Whatever you want to do, do it fast. Because you know that age is not on her side. Let's go. Why would she reject her husband? Probably she wants to stay back at home and look after her late father's wealth. Did she say that? Oh, she said that the man was too old for her. Too old? Why? Is it not Ichiebiri's son that we are talking about? How <laughs> can such a young and promising man go after a useless girl like Adeje Jemba? Then who? Wait. Nah, because one more kunez. Ichiebiri himself. He wants to make her his fourth wife. Fourth what? Yes. The fourth gods wife. forbid. Nah, makageni kwan. Why will Adeje Jemba marry a man as old as that? Is she pregnant? Fourth wife. <laughs> but that's what she deserves. Does she deserve anything better? Hey. Nah, you failed it this time. You failed it this time. Why would you arrange a marriage for your only brother's daughter? A young girl like that to an old man. Hey, anyway, I do not blame her for insulting them. If I were in her shoes, eh, I can make Jaja but you say Hanya. Fourth wife. Uh, thank ah. the gods that you are not in her shoes. Eh? Thank the gods that you are not in her shoes. But I just want that girl to get out of this family. That's what I want. Can't you see? Open your eyes and see that she poses a complete discomfort to us in this family. Hey! Nanya. Okay. Ilo puti fair. How? Let me tell you. The only one who poses a source of discomfort to Abeje Jemba and her mother is you. You! And I'm begging you, leave them alone. Nay hapo haka, leave them alone. You have two daughters, so because of tomorrow, nobody knows tomorrow. Leave them alone. Mm. <laughs> daughter. Daughter, but I'm not a woman. Ha! Don't go and concern yourself about your own daughters. I'm talking of a daiji jemba. Don't go and make jira mo anybody yo. Jira go and fa. I know he loves me. He keeps sending gifts to me secretly. He just doesn't have the courage to approach me. He will never have the courage to speak to you. So just forget him. What if I approach him? What? Mm -hmm. What if I speak to him myself? I mean, he wouldn't talk to me because perhaps he's afraid. So I will make it easier for him by talking to him. Ada, you can't do that. Eh? And why can't I? Hi! Because it's not proper. <laughs> a man should approach a woman and not the other way around. <laughs> I don't even know why I brought up this topic where you are. Hi! Really? You approach him? I love her, I know I love her I am thinking always about her She lives there, but she lives in me I had that, so thoughts are coming Oh, they are coming to take her away But she is refusing is she refusing for me? I am asking, is she refusing for me? She knew I love go. Why can't you be a man? Oh, Chimo, 
Ochinu alu mogo Odogu marama bo nye kembo Ochinu alu mogo If I have you, I have the world Ochinu alu mogo Tell me what you think Mama, if we stay here and listen to her, she won't see anything meaningful. Eh? So I suggest we involve father into this. I'm off, you don't mind your own business. Now leave me alone! Oh, hey. Is it me, she went, your elder sister, they are calling names? Eh? You don't want any respect for me anymore. She went. Mama, mama, allow, allow me to talk to her. Huh? You are asking me to mind my own business when you have brought shame into this family. Okay, I am your mother. Talk to me. I know how to handle your father. Oh, Mama. Mama. Why are you petting her now? Who is the man responsible? Who is the man who did this to you? Say your who is right answer her for, for Mabola. Obiegeli? Mama. Obiegeli! Mama. Obiegeli! Mama. Obiegeli. Mama. to this house and tell me who did this to Mama, you. you're the cause of all this. Hey. You pet her a lot, eh? Chineke. Let us tell father immediately he returns. This girl has brought shame into this family. Hey! I don't know less younger sister do I have. Hey, Mama, immediately father returns. Hey. We must tell him. We must tell him. Nay, your foolish daughter is pregnant and she has refused to mention the man responsible. Oh, that is not enough reason for you to be chasing her around the whole village and pursuing her out of the house just like that. What were you thinking, Ujuaku? Nay, are you going to stand there and blame me? No, but why can't you people hey. just protect the image of this family for once? Adej Jemba is out there rubbing the name of the family in the mud with all the fights she's having around in the community. What is it? What do you want? Mama, 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 Papa, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. And that behavior cannot be compared to this one. Despite her character, she just has still coming to ask for a hand in marriage. For this shameless sister of mine, who will marry her like this? Eh? Obiageli. Obiageli! Baba! Who is the idiot with the licking stick that did this to you? Ask her now! She has gone dumb. The animal has gone to Speak now before I break your neck. Which Ugona? Ugona. Oh, my leg. That same village loafer is going to come here and take you away as wife with a basket full of footwears. You're not serious, are you? You can't give away our daughter to that village loafer. Unfortunately, my dear, that same village loafer you're talking about has an idiot fruit planted and growing in her womb. And no daughter of mine is going to stay in my house to deliver a baby. I'm going to see to it personally that the village drums you're talking about comes and takes you away from this place. Hey! And that's right. Oh, hey! Butterfly. <laughs> Butterfly sister. Oh, my 
go now, Okpaleki. The only man that lives alone in Angweke. They keep accusing me of being a loafer and a drunk. Jericho, do I drink with their money? Or do I drink with their mouth? Cha 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 what did you do to my sister? Eh? How do you bring shame on my family? As you see me now, I am going to ace you, Willie. Ace you, Willie. <laughs> what is my business with where you're heading to? Are you trying to provoke me? Mm. Eh? No, 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 no. That is where they are selling the footwear. Come, let's go home. I want to take your measurement. I want to buy you a footwear. What do you know, the different color? Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe this. The same useless tale of footwear you used on my sister. You want to use it on me? Eh? And you think it will work? Ne. Eh? Ne. You will not! Oku will not change Oku on my own I don't understand. My friend, stop there! Eh? Where do you think you're heading to? And you want to walk out on me, eh? Since eh? you refuse to go home with me, so that I can take the measurement, I shall go to Isiwele. I must buy you the footwear. <laughs> Beef it to one. <laughs> footwear. Look at me. Hey. <laughs> you are so shameless. Look at the useless thing you gave your body to. Eh? Hey? Hi! My sister. Ah! Oh. Odera, you scared me. Where are you coming from? I'm wondering what you are doing with Ugona of all people. That's that useless village loafer of Ameke has touched me where it mattered most. I will make him feel the same pain he's making me go through. I will so deal with him. You are sounding odd. What did he do? My sister, as we speak right now, Obiagiri, my younger sister, is pregnant. And that useless, good-for-nothing idiot is responsible for it. Obiagiri is pregnant for Ugunna. This is unbelievable. What did he do to her? Hmm? What did he tell her? This is confusing. Bam, bam, bam. Is anybody at home? Oh, yeah, Naako. It's me, Adeje Jemba. Hold on, oh. Huh. The brave daughter of Oliseke. Greetings, Ne. How are you, my daughter? I am well, thank you. The joy of my grandson. He is not here at the moment. Who? <laughs> you think I don't know? He told me everything. How he always had sleepless nights about you. <laughs> I am happy that finally two of you are together. Um, me. I'm here to see Chino Alamog. I know. I speak about him too. Just come and sit. I'm sure that when he hears that you came looking for him without seeing him, he will not be happy. My daughter, come and sit and wait for him. Eh? He will be back very soon. Who? Nne! Who are you talking with? Here is his mother. You can now go and talk to her. Oh. <laughs> Greetings, Ne. Uh, 
You are welcome. Thank you. I'm here to see Chinua Lomogo. Chinua came. My own Chinua. Why? Did he wrong you? No. No, I, I'm just here on, on a friendly visit. Friendly what? Well, as you can see, he is not home right now. I will tell him you were here when he returns. That is your son's for sure wife. The gods forbid. Even if Ameke has run out of maidens, my son can never marry that fighter. Don't you know, Anne? What matters is that my grandson finds happiness in her. I don't like what you are saying, Anne. I hope you have not been encouraging my son to run after that mad maiden. Egondo. Hey! Until Chinua returns, I will not sit and watch my son dig his own grave. Ofwanyam, my only son, the gods forbid. Mba. Ah! Ugunna, do you remember what I told you? It has finally happened. Now, Ichi Ilopotife is going to kill you. I'm sure of that. Very sure. Kill me for what? Huh? Because of the Eglis pregnant. Of course. Am I denying it? Am I? Her pregnancy is to my advantage. I have not paid anything. She should have to go for her bride price. <laughs> I'm not denying it. <laughs> is it because you don't have a sister? Don't you think of it that someone can do this to your sister? The girls of this land know that I'm hot tempered and they will work. That is why they made me the only son of me. If I have a sister like Obiagini that opens up fast, hmm. I will kill her. <laughs> I, 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 I can't just believe this. I can't believe you are saying all this rubbish. Yeah? So, the same girl you deceived with, with, with those your useless, endless lies, is the same girl you want to blame for this. Yeah? Those useless lies have given me a wife. If you don't like it, Go to Angmeke's river, jump, and die. One more. One more. Kuna will not die because you kill Banjo. The very wicked. I will always tell you the truth. Always. Chinua, 
I know. You know, I, I know. I know that she loved me. I have actually been having sleepless nights about you too. Chinua, I went to your house. What is the problem with you? You said something in your song that you that she loved me. Is it true? Yes, I, I do. I, I love you. If you truly love me, look at me. I realized you may never have the boldness to say it to me. So yes, I love you. I went to your house. I saw your mother and your grandmother. I, I feel so ashamed of myself. Yeah, you know, I just did not know what to say. So I, I went to this place to just wait for you and then sing. Maybe my son could make a meaning to you. It did. Trust me, it did. And it's okay. I love you just the way you are. Jemba is 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 a good girl. She fights against those who step on her feet. She fights for justice. Try and know her. Know her first before you judge her mama. Pick on.